Hey Diva Squad, welcome back. Welcome back and if you're new welcome my name is Monique I'm the diva today I'm going to be doing a review on the elf's first J kissa brushes there are six brushes this retails for $25 and I'm gonna see if they really are worth $25 or if they're not worth $25 I also use the LJ Kissa palette to the rescue to create this eye look and this is my cool autumn apple look because I'm just really going for the crisp apple look today and um you know I'm really feeling the fall and I'm really feeling this palette if you want to continue to watch this please keep on watching Hey Divas, I'm back with a bare face and I'm super dry. So we're gonna start by using the Pons Rejuvenous um, Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizing Cream. Of course, you guys know this is my favorite. And today we're gonna be doing a talk over because my last makeup tutorial was free, but I feel like um, the voiceover didn't give the look as much justice as it deserved because Davis, I worked hard on my look, on my candy apple, and I was so proud of, proud of it. And so today, I'm just going to talk through what I'm going to do, and you can hear my voice, and you can see what I do, and then I'll speed up certain areas where you be like, okay, we get it. Okay, so today I am going to be trying out the Elf's J Kissa brushes. Now there are six brushes and this retail for $25 when I got them. And they have this beautiful metallic rainbow feel to it and it's so cool and sleek just like the palette the palette has all kinds of rainbows and stuff in it too of course the colors are pretty dope and this is the palette I'm gonna be using so let's go ahead and get on into it I'm gonna get these brows started and yeah we're gonna do that So, what kind of plans do you guys have for autumn? I know that usually in the fall, my family and I always go to like the pumpkin patch where we can go and watch like all kinds of like go to haunted house and you know, pick out our pumpkins and stuff. So, we always do fun things in October and since September is on its way out the door, my question is, what are you guys' plans for um, for the fall, for Halloween? Um, with this whole pandemic, if you have children, I know it's hard to figure out what you want to do for Halloween. Um, um, I have some ideas if you want to know. My whole idea... For my kids, my kids are kind of older. My youngest is, um, you know, 11. So, uh, I am going to have a Halloween party. And we're going to do stuff just like we would do at a Halloween party. Cake walk. Um, and it's going to be at my mom's house. I will definitely let you guys follow me when I do have the party 
Um, and it's not just gonna be myself throwing the party. It's gonna be my mom and my sister and I and, um, and our family. And we have quite a bit of family. Of course, we all, um, you know, have children and our my sister's children has children so um you know i have quite a bit of nieces so it's not coming out the way i want it to but i will snatch it in a minute <laughs> um so yeah what are your plans you know those are my plans yes i feel like um there should be some little options for Halloween and I'm just moisturizing with this Vaseline Lip Therapy Rosy Lips. This is the bomb. I freaking love this stuff. And I also have one in aloe too. So yeah, we're gonna be doing that for Halloween. Um, another idea, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this LJ Kissa J1 to carve out my eyebrows. Um, another cool idea for you guys is like a Halloween hunt if you have any kids you know like egg hunt but Halloween status you know I don't know how this is gonna go but pray for me y'all <laughs> um, and honestly we don't like it's not like we celebrate I'm a Christian so it's not like I'm celebrating for me honestly ooh, these brushes are so soft Wow, I am really loving the feel of these brushes. Six brushes for $25 and the, the way that it feels so soft, the bristles, and it's blending out nicely. Can you guys see that? I am in love, you guys. Yeah, so back to what I was saying. <laughs> um, you know, if you guys have little ones, you can do like, you know, how... I don't know if you guys ever done um, Easter with your kids where you hide the baskets and they have to find where the Easter bunny hid the baskets. And again, I only do these things for our kids. We don't actually feel like it's anything actually that we need to celebrate. It's just to create um, imagination for your kids, you know. We also uh, explain the real meaning of holidays to the kids, you know. As you guys all know, Easter is resurrection and um, there's no meaning to Halloween, just pure fun. I guess it's just like um, something that man created, uh, or I guess the paganisms, you know, wanted to create something. I have no idea. but. I only do it all out of fun for my kids. Um, and another thing you guys could do for Halloween is, I had a great idea, but my family has, you know, all my family is like, they all have their own lives and there's so much going on in all my family's lives. So my idea was like, let's all get together and do a trunk or treat because I have a huge, huge family. And I'm the type of person who like, if you're my family, married or not, I'm not going to say, oh, that's my sister-in-law or my brother-in-law. No, you are my sister and you are my brother. You know, sometimes I might type it down because people will be like, um, that ain't your sister. I've known you for 12 years. But yes, I've, I got married and all my in-laws are my family and I love them dearly. All of them. I love you guys if you're watching. Y'all the bomb. But, um, yeah, since I have such a carve those out go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and use my translucent powder and set this so let me go ahead and try a different brush I'm gonna try the J4 brush and it's just feel it feels good actually it feels really good I think this is just to kind of pack on color I'll probably be using this again this is the wet and wild photo focus translucent powder I've had this for like six months and it's still going strong y'all try it out that's a diva on a budget um yeah I was thinking like yeah we could all do like a trunk or treat thing and the kids can just like go trick-or-treating at each car and we could like deck out our cars and stuff but you know easier said than done because of all of the everybody works different schedules and there's so many of us that we have to like you know 
plan this like ahead of time, ahead ahead of time. So I was like, you know what, let's just do like a little Halloween party. Cause you know, quarantine and there's so many of us, everybody has to, you know, has stuff to do. Some of us have health issues, you know, diabetes um, and asthma and stuff like that. So, you know, a big family like us, we have to see each other in sections with this pandemic because there's so many of us. <laughs> But I can't wait until all of this is um, over so that we can actually like hang out and all of us can enjoy each other. <sighs> yeah, so that's another idea for you guys. If you guys have, you know, any ideas for me, list them down in the comment section below. But I mean, Halloween is gonna be dope. You just have to put your foot in it and figure out, uh, you know, your creativity and how you want to you know play it with your kids or family or whatnot you know so so going into the um lj kissa and <laughs> it's a diva on a budget as you can tell i love how i love how i did this this kind of this dog kind of looks like my my baby dog oreo and so i just kind of put that sticker on there and these three paws represent my babies my fur babies diva Oliver and Oreo and of course I love my dogs so this is gonna be my favorite palette y'all <laughs> using that same brush um, J4 I am going to go in with Paloma and that's this like kind of like um, dark yellowish oranges color and I'm gonna use that for my transition color I'm gonna kind of go high with this transitional color because um, I'm thinking about a halo look so and we had a cool like movie night we had a projector um, Amazon is the bomb for those type of things and this brush chef's kiss you guys like it's so soft it blends well can you see that transitional like is she should pop you know what I'm saying um so I'm moving on to the next color when I'm moving on to the next brush too and that's going to be J2 and this one is a little bit more fluffier than the other one. This is like a fluffy brush. I used the more flat brush for to cut um, do my eyebrows, and then I used a more like denser packing on brush to for my transition color. And I'm going to go back into the palette, and I'm going to be using this green color, and it's called Peaky, I believe. And I'm going to just go ahead and hit it on the outer corner of my eyes and on the inner corner of my eyes. Whoa, ho, ho, my gosh. little fallout with the green as you can see but we'll clean that up later So take care of your guys self, you know, take your vitamins, exercise, you know, you only have one life, you know what I'm saying? So take care of yourself. I'm packing on more of that green so that it'll be more brighter. Oh, 
this is how it's looking now. Don't worry, it's gonna look better at the end of, <laughs> at the, end of the um, tutorial, but we're looking kind of zebra-ish right now. But I mean, wow, the color payoff is like sha-popping, y'all. You guys just have no idea how cute this color is. You know, all these colors in um, the palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and marry these colors together and kind of just like buff them on the top part so that they don't look too harsh. It looks okay, you know, for now. I don't want no harsh lines, but I don't want to like just blend it like too much to where you can't see the yellow. Okay, so next we are going to go ahead and put just a little, little bit of this um, concealer right in the middle of your eye. Okay, right, see where the lid is, where there's no, so just, you're just gonna do this. Like, I'm gonna paint it right closest by my lid in the middle and look up. And then I'm just going to fill that in with my brush. And I'm gonna go back in with the J1 to kind of spread that down. See how I did that? And do that to the other eye. And you should have this. I know it looks funky right now, but watch and learn, okay? So we're gonna go back into the palettes. And I'm going to use Firefly, and this is beautiful, like gold, shimmery color. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that color, and I'm gonna use the J Kissa J6, and it's like a flat brush. So let's see how it packs on with a flat brush, and if I need to brighten it up. I will use my finger. So. Let me try my finger. I mean, I think it works a whole lot better with my finger. <laughs> So I'm going to do that to the other side with the flat brush works pretty good, but um, for the glitter, for the, um, the shimmer shades, I think that um, using your finger is just, it just gives a, a better payoff with the color. So I'm gonna go back in here to um, this color called Yosemite. I believe it's called Yosemite. Like that really bright yellow. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit that in the top part right here where it's lacking a little bit of that yellow and try to marry that in there so that it still pops, but it's just blended well. Now I'm going to be using the NYX Vivid Bright in the color Vivid Envy, and I'm going to line my eye and do a sh 
sharp, snatched wing. You know what I'm saying? Like that. And then we're gonna do it to the other eye. Here we are. So I'm going to wipe away the fallout on the bottom. And then we're gonna go for the face. to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer in Matte Matte. I normally use this like just to like for my pores and stuff to mattify the pores that I have on my face, which some of my pores are big, you see like on my cheek and my chin and stuff. I do have big pores. So, that's really the only reason why I do this. Every day, my everyday makeup does not consist of um, primer because I really only use like a, a concealer and bronzer for concealer, powder, and bronzer for my everyday look. This is just get glam look, you know. I have to get glam for you guys. So, um, and. I just want to dibble dabble into the Elf J Kissa because it's so colorful and so pretty and I would not let that go to waste. Anytime you get a palette, you better dip in that palette, honey. <laughs> so what I'm going to do first, of course, I'm going to put on my foundation. I have this uh, Revlon New Candid. Um, it's not new. It's Revlon Candid um, Natural Finish, and I hope this is my color. It's Natural Beige. Um, I actually tried to get this uh, before in the past. I don't know if you guys saw my Target haul, <laughs> and it was like a huge fail. That color was so light. It was like almost the same color as my um, concealer, which is a no, no your concealer should at least be one to two shades lighter than your um, foundation and I don't really like to use a lot so I'm gonna do like three or four pumps just feel really light <laughs> this is gonna be super light I am gonna have this get a different one and that's probably why I didn't really reach for this because this is too light for me coming out of the summer but this will probably be perfect for me in the winter so I'm gonna have to just fandangle this because this is not my shade right now I bet your girl gonna have to work with what she working with also this is my I think my first time using this foundation so I will let you guys know how it works color last time oh I guess it's oxidizing so it's not too bad and that was not enough so let me go ahead and put some more All of my music is produced by my husband and 
you can follow him on YouTube at drummerboy619. He has the most amazing music. He is a drummer. Um, he has all kinds of merch out um, as far as with collaborations with um, drumsticks and um, worship drums. And I mean, I'm so proud of my husband. So yeah, go follow him. Uh, the music that you're hearing now in the background, he uh, he hooked me up with that. So I feel blessed. I go in with my concealer, and that's gonna be the uh, Elf 16 Hour Camo Concealer Matte Finish in the color Medium Sand. And I'm just going to do right here in my tear duct to brighten up that. I'm gonna go a little bit under here because I'm telling you guys, wherever this baby sits, it will mattify and it will cover anything. So I try not to use so much of this. I use this in moderation and I try to work with that um, product very fastly. And I'm going to bronze with Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Contour Stick. And yeah, this this contour stick is so buttery and it's, it doesn't make you feel muddy like my face isn't muddy at the end of the day i feel like it um gives me the perfect shadow shade that i need and i'm gonna go ahead and go in with my um concealer first because that's the lightest shade i don't want to go in with my contour before i go in with my concealer and Go ahead and flip this over and hit up my uh, contour. And I'd usually put my contour right above my cheekbone. So it makes it look a lot higher than it is. So it makes my face look um, a little bit slimmer than it is. But yeah, that's what I do. So that's what I'm doing. And make sure you get your ears too because you don't want your ears to be a different shade than what you are. I'm gonna go ahead and not bake today, but I'm gonna use the um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder underneath my eyes. That is for that. I'm going to be using the Elf contour palette and I'm going to use these two shades to bronze my face up um, I'll be using a different brush because there's no bronzing brush in there I don't really contour my nose very much but I will go ahead and um, do a little contouring with I'm gonna try to contour with the J3. Let's see if it does my nose right. But yeah, it did as well. It did his job. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, take the top two shades and marry everything together. And what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using the peaky green on the outer and then I'm going to go ahead and use um, a different color for the inner again. So it'll be the same as it's using peaky, this green color, peaky. The 
last brush, which is J3. Let's try J3 and see how that works. So I'm just gonna use that black brush right there to um, put it on. I'm gonna use a different brush to blow it out. The brush that I have to blow it out is being used by another color and I don't want to mess these colors up. Then I'm going to use my finger and I'm just going to put this my makeup and when I'm done with this I will come back and tell you how I feel about the brushes so I'm back with this look my bad is <laughs> um, and I love how it came out and honestly I love these brushes these brushes are amazing they're all soft they all feel nice and light um, good quality for six brushes for $25. I would recommend for anybody to buy them because it's on a budget. And um, this look actually came out really good with these brushes. So I'll give them a 10 out of 10 for the quality and for the price range. Luxury without spending a luxury money, as some of these people say it. So if you like this review, please don't forget to a bricky, a bricky, a uh, don't forget to thumbs this up. And I need some more divas on my diva squad. So why don't you guys go ahead, hit subscribe right there, join my diva squad, hit the notification bell next to that so you'll be notified every single time I upload everything that I used on my face will be linked down in the description bar below and at the end I forgot to put my blush this is my blush and I use this highlighter and for my lip shade I use the L'Oreal Paris um, lip liner in 110 matte and then I use that with the wet and wild and the color is toffee talk and that's the liquid cat suit and top that off with some smashbox and it is in the color rosette so that is what my look consists of um please have a great fall and have a blessed day blessings